Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. So Crafty with Connie, and I wanted to show you how to make the Joey bags that, and then there's two pieces. You have the outer and the inner, the lining part, and the lining part comes out. So it's easy to clean um, if it gets soiled or what have you, and they just lay the little Joey in there. And um, they ask too that you make two to three linings with each outer, so it, it is easier for them to clean. Um, so I hope this video helps you, and if you like it, please give me a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, um, sewing, quilting, crafting tutorials that will be coming up. All right, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do to make the Joey pouches is you want to print out the pattern and the pattern templates. Now, this is the instructions and it is, I got it at www.pacolostudio.com.au and that's P-I-C-C-O-L-O-S-T-U-D-I-O.com and I'll post a link at the bottom in the description um, of the video so you can find it. But it looks like this. And then you print out all of the pattern templates and it even shows you how a diagram about how to put them all together, which is easy to follow. Now, I put them together, the templates. I taped them up, I taped them on the front and I taped them on the back. And then I cut them out. And then I got my fabric pieces fabric and cut that out too. Now they want the outer can be regular cotton, 100% cotton, and you need to cut two pieces of each. And they also, they want your inner, they want it to be a softer fabric. So this one I chose flannel and uh, I cut two pieces of that also. So you want two pieces of the outer and two pieces of the inner. And the inner is going to be longer than your outer on purpose. All right, the first thing that you're gonna want to do is sew these right sides together. We're gonna work on the outer first. And you're gonna sew these right sides together starting at the top and going all the way around using a half inch seam allowance. So let's go do that now. Okay, I went ahead and ironed my fabric pieces so they would be nice and flat. And so now we're gonna use a half inch seam allowance and we're gonna sew all the way around the edge. going to take the edge and we're going to fold it over about an inch and we're also going to iron this down so it'll be easier to sew. Now we're going to sew that down three times all the way around. So you're gonna start at the top, make a stitch all the way around. You're gonna start at the middle, make another stitch all the way around, and then you're gonna do the same thing with the bottom stitch. So you're gonna have three stitches. First stitch, I'm going to pull it up, move it down just a little bit, and start my second one. There's my second. Now I'm going to move it down a little bit more and 
start my third one. So as you can see here, I have three stitches on that same fold and they just ask you to do that just for extra security. And then you're going to fold it down again about another inch. And then at this time point you can press it if you want or not, but I'm, I'm not so I'm just going to sew it like this. And then you're going to sew one stitch close to the edge. the very last stitch sewn all the way around and I cut off my loose threads. Now what you want to do is turn it right side out, push out the seams, right here, push out all your seams. And then we're going to sew again all the way around using a half inch seam allowance and we're going to enclose those seams that are on the inside that are exposed. So let's go ahead and do that. when I started and backstitched when I ended and we're going to clip all the loose threads and then this is and we got the outer bag finished now let's work on the inner bag Now with the lining fabric, I wanted to show you the difference, the only difference that you do with it um, as opposed to what you did with the outer. So I got some different, some different fabric. The only thing that you do different with it is you start off with wrong sides together like this. And the rest, the process is the same. So you're gonna start off with the wrong sides together and you're going to sew all the way around the edge using a half inch seam allowance. you're going to fold the top down and I would cut the edges of this so it's not so bulky when you sew it. I forgot to mention that when we did the outer edge but I'll put a note on there. Now you're going to fold down about an inch and you're going to sew all the way around that fold with three stitches. Okay, that's my first. 
first stitch and I'm going to go down and do my second stitch. Second stitch, now I'm going to go down and do my third stitch. Okay. Now you want to cut any loose threads. Now, you're going to fold it down about another inch and you're going to sew around the bottom of this to secure it down. Again, cut all your loose threads. Okay. Now you're going to turn this wrong side out like this. And then you're going to sew around the edge, poke out your seams. You're going to sew around the edge to enclose the exposed seam on the inside. Again, I use a half an inch seam allowance on that. And I will add a note as well with that before you start. Okay. And that's it. So you've made your lining and you've made your outer bag. Now let's see how they work together. Okay, so we just made some Joey bags together. I hope you enjoyed it and it was easy to follow. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. You can email me, flemingconnyg at gmail.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. And so let's just see what the ones that I, that I just did. So this is the outer and this is the inner for the pouch. And what they will do is they will take the inner and put it inside the outer like this. And then they will fold the inner or the lining over like this for the pouch. And then they will put the little joey inside here. And then if it gets soiled, if the lining or anything gets soiled or anything, it's easier for them to take it out and wash or, you know, change or, or what have you. Um, that's why it's not attached to the outer bag. And uh, they also ask for two to three liners for each outer bag. So I made this one, doesn't really match what I just did, but I made this one, but I wanted it to be easier for y'all to see. So let's see if this one will work. The one that I did and I think so I think it looks good all right there we go
If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for helping the animals in Australia uh, being injured by the fires. Um, and again, feel free to comment or leave me any questions. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.